here I am, back again with another episode of the Interstate series. As you can probably tell, it's been on a <clears throat> extended hiatus, but now I'm back with our next interstate, Interstate 39. I-39 is much longer in length compared to I-72. 39 runs roughly 300 miles between the states of Wisconsin and Illinois and serves as a useful bypass of Chicago for truck drivers trying to get to the bigger Wisconsin cities such as Madison or Portage. Originally constructed in 1986, I-39 was planned to go from Salem, Illinois, all the way up to Wausau, Wisconsin. Wisconsin got the full treatment, but Illinois got gypped. While Illinois did receive part of the route, the segment from South Beloit to Bloomington Normal, they never did get it south of Bloomington. They had the whole thing planned out and ready to go, but shelved halfway through. And they even left some evidence behind in Decatur, but that's for the next History's Mysteries episode. However, since almost all of I-39 parallels U.S. Route 51, Illinois still retained part of the plan. 51 from Bloomington Normal to Decatur is up to Expressway, but not Interstate, standards, and 51 south of Decatur is part Expressway. However, it slowly fades back into the regular two-lane standards. But that's enough about the history of the route, it's time to talk about the actual route itself. I-39 starts on the north side of Bloomington Normal with an interchange with I-55 and U.S. Route 51. 51 turns north and is concurrent with 39 for a while. Along the route in Illinois, 39 junctions major routes such as I-80, I-88, and I-90, all of which will eventually connect back to Chicago. In Rockford, I-39 loses concurrency with 51, but starts concurrency with I-90. The two remain concurrent into Wisconsin, where they intersect I-43 and Beloit. The 39-90 duo continues north to Janesville, where it crosses the Rock River, a subject which should be getting its own today in about 25 minutes, give or take, and Route 14, which can lead you to either Milwaukee or Monroe, depending on your direction. 39-90 continues to junction several exits, including some for Edgerton, Milton, and Stoughton along the way, until finally it reaches Madison. In Madison, there is a large mess of junctions. Starting on the south side, there is a cloverleaf exit with U.S. Route 12 and 18. Going north, you will find that 39 and 90 intersect with I-94, which will either take you to Milwaukee, and eventually Chicago, or will take you north whilst concurrent with 39 and 90. I believe this is one of the very few, if not only, examples of three two-digit interstates sharing the same road. On the north side of Madison, the 39-90-94 triad meets 51 again, but they don't become concurrent. Instead, 51 goes north to DeForest, while 39, 90, and 94 go north to Portage. South of Portage, 90 and 94 break off of 39, but remain concurrent with each other as they travel towards Wisconsin Dells. 39, now on the only stretch of road where it is not concurrent with another route, travels through Portage, where, on the north side, it picks up US-51 again. The two continue north to Wausau, where I-39 somewhat abruptly ends. It is somewhat important to note that I-39 is often the subject of crashes during wintertime when the roads are icy in the cold Wisconsin weather. Anyways, that's going to end off this Interstates video, and I will see you in the next one. If you want to remain updated on all things Interstates and Geography, make sure to click the subscribe button. Bye!